Okay. Hello. This is Tommy Love It with another episode of Fallout New Vegas. And it seems we got to go to the old Mormon fort or something. Man, my health is very low. I should hopefully do something about it. Let's see, yeah, what quest are we currently on? GI Blues. Go to the old Mormon fort and question some injured locals about their estate. That's right, that's... We're still on the GI Blues quest. I guess we just got to find our way back out of here. Yeah, here we are. We're making our way back out. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit depressed lately. I've been depressed lately because, turns out, TF2 update... Yeah, they changed the text from update sized update to holiday sized update. So... Yeah. Valve really pulled out... Pulled the wool over our eyes there. I was really hopeful for that update too. Yeah, we're at the fort. Just gotta ask around is all. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? The king asked me to look into your attack. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Do you remember anything about the people who attacked you? They were big guys. Young, too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. Can you tell me about the attack? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets, and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. I'll have to get going. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about him. He saw more than I did. Alright. That true? Did the king really send you? He did. Anything you can tell what happened about your help? I don't really know what else I can add. There were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Every bit helps, thanks. Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait. I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something. Something with a T. Tenant. That's what he called him. Lou Tenant. Okay, so apparently it's a lieutenant. Sounds like the NCR has a bunch of bad apples in them. Just gotta go back to the king and let him know. So yeah, TF2's update just went from amazing to just normal. Though in lighter news, I did get a hat drop from the item drops today. So, hey, there's at least that going for me in TF2. I even had the right paint to make it look nice. It was the old geezer's hat. Okay, now we just gotta go back to the king. Seriously, they need to put signs up to show where the stairs are. Though I am getting better at navigating. Not by much, since this place is still basically a maze. Maybe that's just a me problem. Alright, there we go. More stairs. Seriously, a few signs would do wonders for this place. Like, that's another thing about TF2 I like. They have signs pretty much everywhere. Have you found anything out? Or were you just here to chat? Local men were attacked by soldiers. One of the men were identified by rank. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's gotta be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. 
The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. So we can go back to Julia Farkas in order to get some extra information. Which I'm gonna do right now, may as well. Okay, where's the stairs? There's the stairs. Okay, I'm getting better at navigating this place at least. Alright, let's go back to that fort and let her know what's happened. In the fort, here we go. Nothing here. Probably still asleep or something. Yeah, there she is. Welcome. Do you know anything about NCR soldiers here in Freeside? Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? King thinks those troops have been attacking locals. I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Alright. Goodbye. Odd silence. Alright, let's go. So yeah, we have a name and a means of getting information. That's good. So many markers. I guess we gotta go to any of them. None from there. Let's follow this marker. Okay. My accuracy. Ooh. Bloody mess perk. Definitely done. No, oh, this guy's on my side. Seriously, look at this. And the other guy must be dead. No, he's cowering in fear. And yet another exploding corpse. Okay. Oh, there's this guy. You look like a person in need of a good meal. You wouldn't happen to be an NCR citizen, would you? I sure am. Now, it's not that I don't believe you, but I'm gonna have to give you a little quiz to verify your citizenship status. That okay with you? Play it on me. That's a good attitude. I'm sure you'll do fine. These are just a few questions that just about anyone in the NCR would know. All right, here we go. First question. Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Peterson, Tibbet, Kimball, or Tandy? Tibbet. Uh-huh. Okay, second question. What was the original name of the NCR capital? Aradesh, Shady Sands, The Boneyard, or Vault 13? Say Shady Sands. Right. Fine, then. Last question. What animal is on the NCR's flag? A two-headed bear, an eagle, a two-headed snake, or a two-tailed lion? Two-headed bear. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, come on. I'm, not, I'm betting not everyone in the NCR knows these things. I'm sure some don't, but the loyal ones do. And that's who we're aiming to help. The loyal ones. Still, you've got a fire in you that tells me you're one of us. Uh, come Just back stop later. by and we'll go over it again. Yeah, apparently missionaries are only helping out people who know about the NCBR well enough. Okay, that's one marker I found. It's behind this building over here. Just a bunch of dumpsters. Nothing interesting. Yeah, I'm still pretty bummed out about TF2's condition. It's been about six years now, I think, since TF2 stopped having major updates. And I would be fine with that if it wasn't with Valve just trying to keep bringing our hopes up. Pretty much nothing. I mean, seriously. Why even announce that you're going to make an update if it's just going to be a small-sized update? Okay, is this another NPC we can talk to? 
Looks like it. Hello. Don't think. Uh, yeah. You don't look like you're from around here, so I guess I can believe that. Just head to the northwest part of town by the old train station. We start handing out supplies at six every night. There'll be some guards by the door, but just remember that the password is hope, and they'll let you buy right quick. All right. That solved it around. We can investigate rumors of free food and water being handed out nightly at the northwest part of Freeside. So where do we go from here? Let me see. Let's go to the South Kristen. I think that's where we need to go anyways. And I'll tell you, I was a big... Ow! I'm in the middle of reminiscing about my old PS2 dick. You son of a bitch! Headshot. Give me that weapon. You don't know what you're doing with it. And your ammo. Doctor's bag. More of the water. Okay. Is this really the right place? It's hard to read. Oh, great. We have to go to free side. Still. It's hard to navigate all this. It's still pretty hard to navigate this game at times. Only have 12 bullets left in my 10mm pistol. Which ain't super good. I got plenty of 9mm ammo. Yeah, I have not. I did not expect the beans to show up there. See, I used to be a real big player of Team Fortress 2. I've gotten over 2,000 hours on it. That's not counting my old account I lost one time. My old Steam account I lost one time. Thankfully, I had the sense to make a password document folder, so that way I don't ever forget my passwords. And it's unsafely in one of the my jump drives. Flash drives, I mean. I think they're also called jump drives. At least I think they're called jump drives. This is making no sense. I just came in through here. Must be somewhere beyond there. Let's try again. Maybe there's some place I have to find. Seriously, why is it so difficult to navigate this place? Uh, yeah, I used to play TF2 a lot back in the day. My favorite class is to spy because it's one of the only stealth classes you'll ever find in a first-person shooter. You turn invisible, you have to kill people by backstabbing them, and disguise as other players. Though mostly I was just disguised as the engineer, because... That's the only class that really makes sense to disguise as, since the engineer doesn't really have a lot going on. Seriously, I am looking at the marker properly, but it doesn't seem like I'm going anywhere. I just entered through here from the marker, but the marker's pointing right back out. That makes no sense. Screw it, I'm looking up a guide or something. Hold on, there's another door area here. Seems I can't rely on the marker much anymore. Because the marker doesn't seem to help me much at all. But I still have to use the marker because how else am I going to know where to go? This might be a bug or something wrong with it. Or maybe I'm supposed to go around this rubble. I read up on it and apparently... Yeah, I think I know where I'm going now. Must have been at the wrong door. Seriously, that's very confusing. Alright. Hold up. What's the password? Oh. Go ahead. Here you go. I hope this helps. Alright. Let's talk to her. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. Are you with the NCR military? Yes. I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. Do you serve food to locals as well? No, I'm afraid we don't. 
Don't you have a friend you wanted to bring in? Yes, but I was afraid he wouldn't get served. You were right. But here, take another helping for your friend. It'll be our secret. Yes? Was there something else you needed? Why don't you serve the locals? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. Julia Farkas told me to ask. She said it was important. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers. But they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. And the king refused? In a manner of speaking. Our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Alright. So I guess we got something to talk to the king about. I don't think we can fast travel to the king. Seriously, how am I supposed to see that extra building with all this rubble in the way? I mean, it's basically how a Fallout like place would look, sure, but it still gets in the way of visuals. I mean, perception. Or maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. Who knows? Yeah, I used to be a big player of Team Fortress 2 in my time. I've said this a lot already, but I kind of want to keep this train of thought going. Like, TF2... I love that game. Hi. I love what? that game a lot. Okay, where do we go from here? The hell is the marker saying? Let me look at the quest and see. Turn to the king and inform him of the NCR supply drops. Okay, I think now it's pointing to the store. Or at least I think it is. Yeah, there's the king's over there. It's like the marker is working again. But maybe it always worked, but it was just difficult to see exactly where I was supposed to go. This game can be pretty difficult to navigate at times. But no biggie. Like, TF2 is one of the... Well, hey there. I heard that NCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us to work out some deal. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? It's my silence worth to you. You're a bastard after my own heart. Here, this should do it. Thanks. I suddenly forgot what I was going to tell the kid. Good. See that it stays that way. Now, if you'll pardon me, I got some important business to take care of. Yeah, we're definitely telling the king. Screw that guy. I think the thing that happens to this quest is that guy causes the big misunderstanding in the first place. And the king himself doesn't know about it. I mean, he probably doesn't know about it. Like, why else would he want my silence? Yeah, speaking of hard to navigate, this place is pretty difficult to navigate, too. Hey, it must be this way. There's another stairway. Alright. I think we're... Yeah, we're in the right place. Or at least we would be. Where the hell is the king? He's probably back here. Yeah, wonderful how you choose now to go. You find here. out something about them soldier boys yet? The NCR is just shooting supplies in a building down by the old train station. Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? They're only handing out supplies to NCR citizens. Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. They said someone was sent to discuss the issue with you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? They said the man was fairly beaten and barely survived. Huh. That would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? Okay. 
king. We've got problems. Play it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell him I'm willing to cooperate. Alright. Okay, I guess we just you gotta go... Just gotta go through the door here. Why the hell are you here? I got this under control. Yeah, it sure looks like it. Maybe we'll see if they have any... Ooh, 10 millimeter ammo. That I definitely need. You there, keep your hands where we can see them. Draw a weapon and we will fire. Well, I won't be drawing any weapon. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? Game wants to help with the relief effort. Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. That wasn't him. He didn't even know an envoy was sent. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Alright, just, just gotta go back to the king. That was really easy. Which I'm fine with, it just seems kinda boring. Alright. Let's go back to the king and let him know what happens. Like, TF2 was one of the best shooter games ever made, in my opinion. There's great map design. All the nine classes have their own unique strengths and weaknesses. There's a whole lot of weapons that you can use. They never update the weapons in the updates they do give TF2, but like, they still give TF2 a lot of weapons. At least they did back when it was still very popular. And the sad part is, if Valve really wanted to, they could have updated TF2 to do pretty much solve all the problems. So there's like a cheater bot problem. For aimbots and all kinds of cheating, hacks are now basically free roaming because Valve doesn't want to go for the trouble of actually vac banning them or developing a decent anti-cheat TF2. It's been like that for years. Like years. TF2 was like my childhood game. Like It was my first Steam game on PC. I may have just realized that it just went back up out of instinct. I'm not even sure if the king is there. Nope, he's all the way back down to the first floor. Damn it. But yeah, TF2 is such an awesome game. It's just, it's just, it's, it's just, I don't even know what to say. The map designs are pretty good for all 70 something maps in the game. TF2 is still going strong to this day, too. If you're going to the community servers, at least. Like, the community is the only thing really keeping TF2 alive. It's a pretty great community. Okay, there you are, King. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty, so I'll tell you what. Just this once, aim whatever you want. And if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the King. All right. Let us go. Where do I want? My guns is in a pretty good place, so I'm gonna put it all into speech. And put the rest into guns. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? About that favor you owe me. Ask away. Can you get me into the strip? Sure can. I have a friend who has just what you're looking for. Has a shop over yonder by the East Gate named Mick and Ralph's. Just tell Ralph that I sent you and he'll get you squared away. Awesome. We're gonna get into the strip after all. I think Mick and Ralph's is uh, over here. Yeah, you can... Like, TF2 has been like one of the best shooter games ever made. I don't think even Overwatch can compete with it at this point. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to It's been developed for in like a nine year development hell. And it finally gets released. And it's good. And they kept updating it, making it great. But Valve stopped you know, caring about TF2. 
Like, it seems like Valve almost hates the TF2 community for still wanting to play this game. Valve still updates for new cosmetics and stuff like that, but yeah, that's about it. Alright. Where the hell is Mick and Ralph's? Mick and Ralph's. Actually, we should probably save first so we don't lose our progress. We need to look at Freeside's East Gate. I don't even see any East Gate. North Gate. How is there two North Gates? Ah, oh, whatever. At least I've seen what the front entrance of it looks like, so... I could probably find it now. Seriously. When everything looks like rubble and broken down buildings, it becomes impossible to tell the difference between all these broken down buildings. And TF2 had, like, crazy lore, too. There was, like, a comic they made. They made the comics for, like, every up major update. And they had, like, their own little comic storyline going for it, too. You could still read the comics to this day. There's also the Meet the Team. There was also the... God damn it, where the hell is Mick and Ralph's? Seriously, why the hell can't I just ask that crier kid where the hell they are so I can just find them? Maybe they're, like, over there and I just missed it. Looks like an area I can enter. Or at least, no, probably not. That's bullcrap. Yeah, there's like these whole movie and video trailers of all the characters. Like there, it was like the meet the team characters. And they were awesome. Like it really showed you the crazy characters of Team Fortress 2. My personal favorite has to be like, I think the spy one because it shows off what the spy actually does in the game which is basically stealth and espionage seriously where the hell is mick and ralph's like seriously can't find them any damn where oh well there it is just sitting there glowing ralph's and mick yeah fuck this crap whatever at least we found the place now no, no hollow points. I don't like the extra ammos you get. Yeah, just give me a bunch of a bunch of ten millimeter ammo. Give me a ammo. shot if you need anything else. Thanks for stopping in. All right. So it must be the other guy, Ralph, right? Hey, what can I get you? The king said he could set me up with a pass to the strip. One of his boys stopped in and said you had won the king's favor. You've done right by this town and deserve a pass. Here you go. Thanks. See ya. Yeah, it's a counterfeit pass, but it works. Okay, at least we got our pass, so we can now enter the strept proper. I just wish this place wasn't so difficult to navigate. I know I said this a lot, but it's true. Everything looks about the same. Dark, gritty place. Alright, we should be able to go into strip now. And the first thing we're gonna do is kill Benny. I know you could do some more, like, screwed up things, like have him crucified, but now let's just kill Benny and get it over with. We just got to give him the pass and we're good to go. Submit to a credit check or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. I have a passport. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. Alright. Now what did this guy have? Nothing. Alright. And here we are, the strip. I said, keep moving. Howdy, partner. You come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. This place looks amazing. Where do I start? The place to get started is not the 38. See that big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner? That's where you find Mr. House, New Vegas' head honcho. And he's itching to make your acquaintance. Why is the robot passing off his invitation? Well, now, it was Mr. House who made Securitrons like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't dawdle. He'll be waiting. All right. And as you can see, it reverts to like a cop. Which I think implies that Victor is like a separate. Well, how 
Howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. All right, thank you, Victor. Come back soon now. Yeah, let's go in here. Inside the Lucky 38. Where to, partner? Penthouse. And here we are just teleporting right there. Let's talk to this NPC. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. What can you tell me about Mr. House? Why, sugar? He's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? Sounds like you're pretty fond of him. Well, of course I am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it, but that counts in my book. Alright, let's talk about something else. Anything you like, sugar. Uh, what is this place? This is the Lucky 38 Resort and Casino, or it used to be. Mr. House has kept the place locked up tight for ages now. Nobody comes in or out. Alright, I think that's all we need to know. Awkward silence. And look at this. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally and, I suspect, figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? Can we get down to business? Oh, by all means, yes. That's refreshing. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me, and I want it recovered. Simple enough. What do you propose? My only concern is the recovery of the Platinum Chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? I accept your terms. Well enough. Return to me when you have the Platinum Chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? I'll return when I have the chip. Until then. So yeah, this is Mr. House. He's a big ass TV person. Man, we're really losing frames here. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait and sweep. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. Alright, let's go to female, because I think that's the lowest floor on this place. I think that's like a player house you can get now. But really, I don't really need a player house in this game. I mean, sure, it's nice to have, but it's not really anything I'm super interested in. All right. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Alright. Didn't expect anyone else aside from the Fairy Odd Parents character to use the word Crocker as a, as a name. Alright. I wish to speak with you in re immediately in regards to important matters. I trust you've learned enough in your travels to know that the new California Republic is a honorable nation engaged in a benevolent mission in the Mojave in general. Blah, blah, blah. Allow me to reassure you that if you have committed any crimes, blah, blah, blah. I stand right to receive you at your earliest convenience in my offices at the New Vegas Republic Assembly at the north side of the strip. God bless the New California Republic. Alright. Guess they're just calling for me. Alright, let's go to the strip. And kill Benny. 
first, let me get my proper weapons. Oh shit, my lever armor is... Well, that's not good. Screw it, I'll probably find some better armor on the way anyways. Alright, let me grab... My 10mm pistol. Actually, scratch that. We can use the single shot. Hey, hey, fellow. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm going to have to ask you to hand... Five words. From my cold, dead hands. Them's the brakes. You want in, you don't bring the guns. I got a better idea. How about I kill you and take my guns in and minutes? Buddy... You just made the biggest mistake of your life. No, this is the biggest mistake. Watch out! Okay, maybe this is going to be harder than I thought. Psycho, purified water. Medex. Ooh, we're low on frames, low on health. Okay, this isn't going to work the way I usually do. Okay, I guess we have to... Okay, maybe we made a mistake here, because apparently we auto-saved for some fucking reason after I provoked them. Okay. I think this is a good place to leave off. This has been Tommy Lovett. And next time I'm going to have to figure out a way to deal with the tops now that I pissed them off. Later.